Welcome, this is the Energy Vibration Reading for the Virgo Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign for the month of December. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. This is the Energy Vibration Reading for the Virgos. Okay, um, this month of December is going to be the energy of the hair. Um, we have the zodiac energy of uh, the um, fire and the zodiac energy of the heart. Um, this is a month for you Virgos that you are going to have support in the last um, two weeks of this um, month because you have your sister sign that is working with you you have the energy of the star whatever negativity that was there it is now come to an end for whatever that was transpiring in your life uh, you know good things is about to happen for you you have the energy of the youth that is coming in, the youth of the materialistic. So you're looking within and connecting with your inner child to find out what it is that I want to have in this month, what it is that I need to have in this month. This is wonderful because this is going to bring positive situation in your life because you're going within to find out, you know, what is it that is, uh, you know, that is working for you, what it is that is not working for you. And you're deciding to make changes in your life and this is good for you Virgos because this month is a new beginning it is ending things that no longer serve you and it is bringing in positive energies and positive things we have the energy of Archangel Raphael the theme of this month seems to be green this is going to be good because Archangel Raphael if you're having um, um, situation um, sickness and that sort of a situation whatever is happening in your life it is going to bring ill into your financial situation and you all you have to do is ask and call upon the angels of abundance and Archangel Raphael and you're going to see that the changes are going to be coming in it's a month of duality for you people but there is going to be a wonderful celebration that is coming in it is the month of Christmas so this is going to be positive and wonderful for each and every um, person you're working on yourself to um, bring in positive new energies we're working with also the unicorns because it's a month of December um, the month of December the veils are thin so your wishes and dreams can come true you you know the two last week is going to be good for you Virgos okay um, let's look and see what the unicorns have to say for you and it says um, you know um, let me put my glasses on <laughs> um, so um, whatever is transparent it's a dignity hold your head up eye and know that the unicorns are supporting you so whatever is happening in the month of december dignity hold your head up eyes and know that the unicorns are supporting you so whatever and whoever and whatever is coming at you in this month um just hold your head up eye and know that you have dignity and you stand up to whatever is happening and know that you're going to be positive i want to say thank you to every virgos out there who support my channel and um for the newcomers for the old p hold uh, subscriber newcomers i hope you will stay um this is the end of the year so let's look at your cards and see what's in the cards for you guys okay so what do we have the first week we um is the energy of water emotion second week is the energy of fire. <laughs> sorry we'll say a third week is the energy of fire and the fourth week is the energy of uh, uh water emotions coming back your focus in these first week uh, you have um a good energy and this is positive because what is happening for you is that you have the energy of um authority you know you have the energy of authority so a lot of you people will be supported by people in authority okay um whatever is happening is that they are going to be supporting you because what is going to happen is that new beginnings new um possibilities is going to come out for you you have the energy of the seven of pentacles so whatever is happening um with authority a new beginning is going to come out it's as if help is going to be coming for people who have children this is positive because um somehow um an organization or an uh, authorities is like governments and organizations institutes and that sort of a thing 
is going to help you um, with whatever that has transpired in your life this is going to be good if you're having a situation with kids if you need help for your children and that sort of a thing this is going to come out but for other people it is actually a new beginning a new beginning with situation in authority they you know it's as if um, they are going to be you know coming in to help you in whatever that has transpired and whatever that is going to happen so this is really um, a positive week second week is going to be a fire week but you have the energy of wisdom you guys have only major arcana um, balancing out which is the ground basis of your reading you have a lot of major authority uh, a lot of major um, energy here and this energy is energy of wisdom so in the second week you'll be looking in words to find wisdom in your life and then you are going to be finding people who are going to help in you but uh, be aware because some people will be uh, taking your energy some people will be connecting with you but some people will be taking your, uh, your energy so be aware um, you're going to find out that you know for some people that there was a um, uh, somebody stole something um, you're gonna find that out because um, you know in a wisdom and guidance is that um, you're dealing with your mighty I am self present self and you're going to go within to find out something about the situation you're going to find out that there was a theft that happened and be aware of who you work with and who you deal with and people um, in groups and situation that you deal with because um, you're going to realize that a theft had happened, okay? Or that um, there are people who are just taking your energy. The number three comes up um, in this week and this month. There is absolutely um, no, um, they're not giving any energy vibration with the number energy vibration in this month because there is somehow, because it's going to be ending um, a lot of stuff. There are, you know, there are more focusing on what you're ending to have this new beginning because this month is a new beginning. As we look at the third week, the third week is that you have your shadow self in the reverse form. So that means you're accepting your shadow self. You're seeing this. You're trying um, to, uh, you know, figure out situations in your life. You're trying to deal with your shadow self, which is good. It's not as if you're not dealing with it. The sun is going to come out because you're going to um, see the shadow side of who you are. And the shadow side is the side where you use um, the not so positive uh, um, situation you deal with things in not so of a positive way or you do things that is not of positivity so that is looking at your shadow side in the third week and this is going to open up certain aspect of yourself and this is going to be good because the sun is coming out to realize that you have looked at your shadow self and you're healing it and there is a transformation that will be coming and this is very good okay so whatever is happening this is very good because you're working on yourself in this month to heal certain aspect of yourself whenever the energy of your shadow self is in the reverse form and the sun comes out this is good because the debt is a transformation as to what is happening okay in the fourth week you have the energy of the truth coming out in the fourth week it is the week where um, you're going to see the truth, the truth of situations. This is another major arcana, and this is good because um, finally the truth is coming out, and this truth is going to bring a new beginning, um, a, a positive new beginning. The truth is going to come out, so you are going to see people that was working against you. You are going to know exactly what was happening, um, whatever um, theft that has happened for some people, whatever. Um, uh, yeah, because what is happening is as if uh, you realize that people were lying or people were not speaking the truth, people were speaking about you, there was people who were taking things that was not um, for them, that sort of a situation, and you're going to see this coming out and happening and what you're going to do a new beginning is going to be there for you so you're going to realize that there are some people that you need to move away from with this new beginning it's going to bring a healing to your health it's going to bring a healing to your materialistic world it's as if these people were blocking your energy and the flow of your materialistic aspect and uh, 
it is going to be now good okay so you're ending the, the the month on a good note because a new beginning and this month is all about new beginnings it's going to be a new beginning in your health for some of you and it's going to be a new beginning in your financial aspect for some of you so remember this is a, a general readings for you know um a personalized reading you can always connect with me so whatsoever is happening you can know from before what is going to happen because this is just a general reading so it will affect some people in certain ways and it will affect other people in other ways okay so as i look at your month it's all about the truth it's all about seeing your shadow side it's all about dealing with your shadow side whatever is happening there is an effect with kids so for people who have kids uh, there is going to be help coming in if you were saying you know this is christmas i have nothing to give my kids and that sort of a thing you are going to um, receive help from a group or organization or people in authority are going to come in and help you you're looking forward to really realize what exactly has transpired um, because um, some people in the second week is going to be losing their energy they're working with people but it's not of a positive vibration and some people are going to realize that people have been stealing from them whatever that may be and that sort of a situation the energy of your shadow side is going to be worked on in third week it's going to be good positive energy is going to be coming out the last week a new new beginning is coming in for you for your materialistic and your financial endeavor and also your health what is happening also here is that someone a good friend is going to come in for some of you women um, you are going to um, um, meet someone who is a man who is a very good friend who is going to support you and this is going to be positive um, this is going to be good okay it's, it's as if this person come in and is going to help you out with whatever situation whatever it is um, hold your head up high and have dignity no matter what don't let people try to you know put you down or that sort of a thing because people are you know they have this sort of a thing Let's move on and see what love is happening for you, Virgos, in the first week. You have the energy of uh, the um, the energy of someone who is an Aquarius, a Libra, or a uh, Gemini, and this person is coming in with harsh words. This person is a young person, and uh, it can be a young person of someone who is carrying or vibrating with the energy vibration of the Aquarians the Gemini or the Librans, whatever this person say, it could be also a child coming in with Ashwar. I want this and I want this and I, I don't get it. So it's going to affect you because you love this person and this person is going to come in with Ashwar. It doesn't really matter. Um, love is the only thing that is real. Let's look at the second week. The energy of the star comes out in the second week, which is very good in your love relationship because whatever that was happening and you were looking for inner guidance you are going to find that inner guidance because it's going to be shown whatsoever that was stolen you are still going to come out on top because um something positive is going to happen to you and your relationship whatever that was playing in your relationship it could be that someone was having an affair in a marital marriage um someone is having an affair and at the end of the day you know you were going to um, whatever and the other person that was effect you're going to come out on top because something it's as if the universal angels and guides are going to come in and help you to either see this and help you to kind of work around this so this is positive as we look at the third week to see what's happening in love there's a new beginning that is going to happen in love for a lot of people so a lot of people is going to have a new beginning in love it's as if you're going to meet someone in the week of christmas and this is going to be positive whatever the situation was that was happening it's going to be very very positive so um you are going to be connecting with new love in your life and this is going to be positive okay the star with the the um two of ones is always in love um someone a soul family or a soulmate or a twin flame is going to come in the possibility do exist so look in second and third week that this is going to happen let's look at a fourth week for love for the burgers so a new beginning in your love life and this new beginning is going to come through um you're going to have a message there are going to be people who you have met and 
this whatever that was playing negatively in your life in your love life um there is going to be an upheaval and an upheaval is that you're going to know what was playing in your love life you are going to really find out what was happening in your love life so let's say that um someone was having an affair because this is what i'm getting that someone else was having an affair you are going to it's as if the the star the energy of the star is always your spirit guides and angels working behind the scene to give you a new beginning because they're going to let you know whatever that was happening in your love life because the energy of the tower and up evil has happened and it's it's breaking down some people are going to feel heartbreak but some people are going to understand and they're going to just move on so whatever that is happening for you you know because the message the message here and there's this conflicts and this person there is someone um who is bringing conflicts in your life and whatever you know that has transpired here the tower is going to happen and some people are going to have art breaks no um you know some people are going to have art breaks but and this is going to affect the people between the, the um ages of 18 and um, 40 that you're going to have art break because you're going to find out that someone you know something is going to come out and you're going to feel heartbroken but it's okay because it needed to come out you know whatsoever that was happening really 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 needed to come out so you know for a lot of you people within the love arena it is as if you are going to receive message over something and it's as if the universal angels and god wanted you to know this message because they are saying to you there are new things there are better things on the horizon someone new is going to come in so whatever is happening with your love relationship know that whatever message you got in the first week in the second week something new is going to happen and something new is going to come into your life and um at the end of the day you're going to have a new beginning so have no fear to whatsoever is happening friends is as if friends or people are going to tell you um something about your relationship that is going to change the form of your relationship and at the end of the day you're going to choose a, the positive way out of the relationship and it's not going to happen for everyone because remember that this is a general reading but what is going to happen for a lot of people that that is affecting is that new beginnings is going to come in it could be a child telling you something or it could be someone um, who carries the energy vibration of an Aquarius, um, Libra, or Gemini. But whatever is happening, the energy of the star, and the energy of the star comes in to let you know that the universe, um, your angels and guys, have orchestrated this, and there is going to be a new beginning. There is going to be news coming um, and of this new beginning, and it's going to be good, okay? So let's look at what your sun, moon, and rising sign. We're going to go and look at the zodiac energies. And here we go. So we're going to start with the sun, moon, and rising sign. Remember that the sun people are the people who were born between um, 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. So let's see what the Virgo sun, moon, rising is going to offer you. And... Um, you have the energy of okay so for the sun people what you are going to be dealing with it is the aries and the tauruses and you know the tauruses are your sister sign so this is actually positive for you sun people because the tauruses are your sister sign and the sun in Taurus um, is very good because you know some people look at things quite differently but the Sun in Taurus is actually very good because when the Sun comes out in Taurus Sun and Aries uh, seize the moment with radiance and confidence so you Tauruses need to seize the moment with radiance and uh, confidence so you know you Taurus you um, you Virgos need um you know seize the moment seize the moment because the areas are coming in to help you to see them seize the moment with radiance and confidence and this is going to be good um it's 
as a sort of um, the Tauruses are coming in to help you in whatever endeavor, whatever situation that is happening. The Tauruses are coming in to help you. The Tauruses are your sister sign. They are going to help you to, you know, and it could be that most of you are going to be connecting with a Taurus. Um, it's as if um, the relationship that you were in has ended and you're going to be really connecting with a Taurus and this is going to be good. So let's look at the people who were born in the night and you have the energy of the Gemini coming in. So you Virgos are going to be connecting with the Geminis, which is a very good. And let's see who else the Gemini's and Saturn Gemini's and Saturn so the Gemini seems to be coming up in um, this um, month for a lot of people who you know you kiss you, you know the her, the lunar people is the people who were born between the hours of 6 p.m. and 6 a.m. so you know these are most of the the most psychic people and the gemini's because you virgos and the gemini's can work together because you carry the energy vibration of positive energies and hair and hurt is a very positive thing there's a new beginning in the love arena that is coming in with someone who is a gemini and this is going to be good whatever way it is saturn is come in to remove a relationship or someone that no longer or a situation that no longer serves you so this is going to be positive whatever the situation that is whatever the upheaval that there was if there is going to become an end to it because saturn and the tower together is really moving out um, a negative situation out of your life which is going to be extremely good and extremely positive because you are seeing that you're working with duality you in this month you have to there's going to be movement there's going to be choices and there's going to be decision that has to be made so this is going to be good and this is going to be positive because after you make these movement and decision that has to be made for you Tauruses you are going to see that your life is going to be completely different and there is going to be a change in that is going to come in so in whatever way you look at it because the pages are here um, the pages that will be coming in with you know ash word and that sort of a thing and the pages that is coming in with a new beginning at the end of the month for you so this whatever is transpiring is going to be um, very positive for you Virgos so remember again that these are general readings these are really general readings so for a personalized readings you always have to order order a personal reading in on my site but as we look at the energies that are happening here is really cleansing 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 things are moving out of your life so new things so with the situation with relationship these relationships that are leaving in your life, these things, these messages, information that are coming in, it is um, for a good reason you need to let go and release and understand that sometimes you need to do this. What is happening is that the major arcana is and the basis of your reading is really helping you out and this is going to be wonderful please remember to listen to the general readings because there's more messages in the general music readings and re remember to listen to your sun moon horizon sign this is going to be positive this is going to be good you're going to be understanding certain aspects of yourself and you're going to be removing certain energies and cleansing certain things out of your life so i want to say to each and every person have a wonderful wonderful christmas and i'm wishing you a wonderful positive new year we will speak together in the weekly readings namaste